mysterious waves discovered at the edge of the solar system. In a recent discovery, data was obtained from an interstellar boundary explorer that had been orbiting and collecting data in space over the last while. An explorer is a type of satellite capable of transgressing the boundaries of space and collecting data for scientists on Earth. That being said, this particular spacecraft was able to learn some interesting information as it discovered a pulsating structure in the heliopause. The heliopause is the region between the solar system and interstellar space. In the past, scientists had yet been able to collect much information on this region of space, but that has begun to change. The finding from this explorer brought scientists insight into how the boundary appears to be constantly changing over time. As of now, there have been two different Voyager explorers that could cross the heliopause and venture into interstellar space. These voyages have enabled scientists to obtain a better understanding of interstellar space and start to map the heliopause. However, they haven't been without issue, and further tools were needed to research the area. This led to the creation of NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, the IBEX, this tool is used to measure the neutral atoms that are created by the sun's solar wind colliding with the interstellar wind. Some of the atoms during this collision are shot toward the Earth and can be measured by the ibex. The collected data has made it easier for scientists to map the heliopause region. As a result, a team of scientists discovered that huge ripples or waves were happening within the heliopause. These waves were on the scale of tens of astronomical units. One astronomical unit is roughly the distance between the Earth and the Sun. These findings suggest that the heliopause is constantly changing, but they are not sure why. Nonetheless, this discovery is huge for the study of space and will hopefully lead to more answers in the near future. Scientists discover two dusty galaxies at the edge of the universe. Two galaxies were discovered just beyond the edge of the universe. They formed over 13 billion years ago, which is just 8 million years after the Big Bang birthed the universe itself. The astonishing part is that they have been hidden all this time behind a thick cloud of dust. At the Research Institute of Science and Engineering, at Waseda University and the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan in Mitaka, Tokyo, astronomer Yoshinobu Fudamoto led a team of scientists in discovering these galaxies. It was by sheer luck that some out-of-focus patterns of extra light emissions were spotted while Fudamoto and his team, who have studied 40 other galaxies, were focused on two galaxies, Rebels 12 and Rebels 29. The extra light was coming from a location several thousand light-years further than the brighter galaxies the team had their attention on. The main tool used by Fudamoto's team, who are part of a program called Reionization Era Bright Emission Line Survey, was the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array. ALMA is an extrasensitive interferometer that is capable of seeing across incredible distances and through dusty environments. One astonishing feature of ALMA is it has the ability to see objects in the Cosmic Dawn era when stars and galaxies first formed. The newly discovered galaxies have been named Rebels 12-2 and Rebels 29-2. They are invisible in UV and optical light. ALMA was able to pick them up because of its sensitivity to faraway infrared wavelengths. The discovery of these two galaxies points to the possibility that one in five galaxies at cosmic dawn are hidden by thick clouds of dust. It is suggested by Fudamoto and those working with him that a blind wide area survey to find more galaxies hidden in this way should happen in the future. This will possibly add to or change the knowledge we have for models of star and galaxy formation during this notable time. It's a richly satisfying feeling to know that entire galaxies teeming with stars were already thriving 800 million years ago at the very dawn of the universe. Powerful cosmic flash is likely neutron star merger. Neutron stars have remained one of the more mysterious aspects of astronomy, but a recent discovery has led researchers to speculate that they might not be as rare as first believed. 
These celestial bodies, known as neutron stars, are interesting because of their incredibly high density compared to their very small radius. A typical neutron star measures only about 30 kilometers across, making them veritable specks in the wide expanse of space. Likely formed by the remnants of massive supernova explosions, they are composed of densely packed neutrons containing the mass of the entire Sun in such a small space. Occasionally, these neutron stars will combust in cataclysmic mergers that can be captured and studied via imaging technology, although it can be hard for researchers to determine whether an explosion was caused as a result of a neutron star collision or something else, such as a gamma ray burst. However, new ways of capturing these explosions have shown researchers that perhaps neutron star mergers are much more common throughout the universe. After a discovery of a neutron star collision that generated both light and gravitational waves, named GW170817, was made in 2017, astronomers began to consider that there might be a new way of searching for these occurrences. Expanding upon Albert Einstein's theories regarding using ripples in space-time to probe objects within the cosmos, an expansive multi-messenger astronomy project began which allowed researchers to combine gravitational wave technology and electromagnetic radiation to probe space in ways that had never been attempted before. Although GW170817 was the first recorded neutron star merger, once these principles were employed in the study of other instances, they discovered that we had likely observed such mergers many times before without realizing exactly what they were. For example, a gamma ray burst named GRB150101b 150101b was recorded by NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope and confirmed by multiple other recordings, including the Hubble Space Telescope, the Chandra X-ray Observatory, and Neil Gerrell's Swift Observatory. But now researchers looking at it with this new scientific lens believe that this explosion may have been the result of a collision between two neutron stars. Jeffrey Ryan with the University of Maryland at College Park and co-author of the study released a statement explaining the instance of mistaken identities, saying, We may have a case of cosmic lookalikes. They look the same, act the same, and come from similar neighborhoods, so the simplest explanation is that they are from the same family of objects. If this is the case, and explosions that were previously categorized as gamma ray bursts may have been misidentified neutron star explosions, then the incidences of neutron stars are likely much less rare than researchers first believed. As Ryan said, this could hint at an entire category of objects that exist within the cosmos that have not yet been identified. Eleanor Trozier, lead author of the study, said, Our discovery tells us that events like GW170817 and GRB150101b 150101b could represent a whole new class of erupting objects that turn on and off in X-rays and might actually be relatively common. Fellow co-author Henrik van Erten continued, We need more cases like GW170817 that combine gravitational wave and electromagnetic data to find an example between a neutron star and black hole. Such a detection would be the first of its kind. Our results are encouraging for finding more mergers and making such a detection. Multi-messenger astronomy has allowed scientists to view space in an entirely new light, which will hopefully usher in a new era of new discoveries. Astronomers show what shockwaves 60 times larger than the Milky Way look like. Cosmic collisions and grand colorful explosions are a staple in space. Despite being a vacuum, space can be as colorful and bright as it is unknown and elusive. The larger and more spectacular the explosion or supernova, the more excited researchers become upon its discovery. Recently, a brand new burst of color and a spectacle transpired, an occurrence dating back to one billion years ago still showcasing itself in the night skies. Despite the tremendous amount of time that has passed since its dawn, the spectacle is not only still very much visible, but it has been measured to be 60 times the size of our entire galaxy. This splendid shockwave occurred when two clusters of galaxies collided into what is known as a supercluster. Abel 3667, the name dubbed to the supercluster, is one of the most extraordinary events which we know of to have happened in the universe since the Big Bang. 
Professor Francesco de Gasperin of the University of Hamburg conducted various calculations which proved Abel 3667 to have been insanely powerful. It is believed that Abel 3667 happened anywhere from 1 billion to 200 million years ago. Regardless, the supercluster formed a shockwave of electrons which are still traveling at speeds of 1500 kilometers a second, otherwise known as Mach 2.5. These particles, as they traverse the cosmos, pass the magnetic fields in space, which then are reflected back in radio waves. De Gasperin used these radio waves in his calculations alongside his colleagues. The research group used the up-and-coming Meerkat telescope that is building steady popularity within astronomical circles. However, radio waves could not provide them with enough information by themselves about the extent of the shockwave as research was additionally conducted at the XXM Neutron X-ray Observatory to focus further on Abel 3667. The combined results from the various observatories helped scientists understand the situation and shockwave in a far better light than any prior speculation could have. According to de Gasperin, the galaxy clusters were much more complex than we initially thought. The shockwaves themselves looked like filaments that traced the location of giant magnetic field lines. The full extent of their research is not yet known. Astronomers find mysterious cavity in space 500 light years away. Astronomers have recently discovered an enormous cavity which they believe was the result of a stellar explosion millions of years ago. Described as a bubble-shaped void, they discovered the cavity between the Perseus and Taurus constellations. More precisely, it was found in a star-forming region, which is a cluster of gas and dust which to date scientists believe form from supernovas. Having mapped the Perseus-Taurus constellation star-forming region, data collected by the Gaia spacecraft revealed the huge cavity which previously went unnoticed by 2D mapping systems. Scientists had long been aware of this star region. The depth and thickness of the molecular clouds associated with the region had been a mystery for some time. There are a couple of current theories as to the presence of the void within this star-forming region. Either it is possible that a supernova exploded at the core of the bubble, pushing gas outwards and expanding the cavity, or a series of supernovae over the period of millions of years created and added to it over time. Although they may not know for sure what caused this phenomenon, scientists are well aware of how much more there is to learn about the region and supernova-related events in general. Discovering this void while trying to understand how gas and dust are released and rearranged during stellar explosions, they now want to turn their focus to the chain of events triggered by the ending of a star and the resulting supernova explosion. Hunga Tonga Hunga released the highest volcanic plume ever recorded. In January 2022, an enormous volcanic eruption took place from Hunga Tonga Hunga Haipei. The columns this volcano created were 57 kilometers above sea level. This is the first volcanic eruption ever to breach the mesosphere, and it's one of the most extraordinary events ever recorded. The height was recorded by measuring the temperature at the top of the plume. Satellites are able to take infrared observations and measure temperature. In this case, the plumes from the eruptions went too high, and researchers could not rely on the temperature given by a satellite. Fortunately, they had a better idea and made the measurement based on parallax. They used the data from three geostationary weather satellites to observe the eruptions from different positions. This entailed taking images every 10 minutes to accurately record the event and get a correct reading of the height. This ingenious method for measuring the eruptions has rippled through the science community, and many others are excited to put it to use when analyzing future eruptions. Nonetheless, for the moment, this is the largest eruption that has ever been witnessed in recent human history. Second place goes to Mount Pinatubo in the Philippines. With this new knowledge, scientists are excited to find out more about this eruption and what may have caused it. Recent theories make the claim that it could be caused due to climate change and the impact humans are having on the environment. Meanwhile, others believe it's just a normal act of nature. 
Nonetheless, we will know more after understanding what the plume was composed of. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.